Hello my people, welcome to this presentation on compound proportion and rate of work. This is a form 3 topic that is uh, normally tested in um, uh, mathematics paper 2 examinations. So we want to uh, solve this question and um, get to understand uh, the steps that are followed in making sure that uh, one arrives at the right answer. So solution part, the solution part. Uh, let us read the question first. Tap A fills a tank in six hours. In six hours, tap B fills the same tank in eight hours. And tap C empties uh, the same tank in ten hours. Starting with an empty tank and all the three tabs are opened at the same time, how long will it take to fill the tank? Uh, the time taken to fill the tank when the three tabs are left running. So the first thing we want to start with, we want to say that uh, tab A, tab A, it fills the tank in uh, six hours. What fraction is filled in one hour? So in one hour, in one hour, in fact, one over six of the tank is filled. Tap B takes eight hours. What fraction is filled in one hour? So in one hour, in one hour, um, one over eight of the tank is filled. One over eight of the tank is filled. One over eight of the tank is filled. Now we want to get the fraction of the tank that's, that is filled in one hour by uh, tap A and tap B um, combined. So in one hour, we say in one hour, in one hour, in one hour, both, both A and B fills. Now we have to add the two. So it is one over six plus one over eight. Uh, this one is, in fact, we find the LCM here. The LCM is uh, 24. 6 goes to 24 uh, four times. So 4 times 1, it is 4, plus 8 goes to 24. 3, 3 times 1 is 3. So the fraction filled by both tank in one hour is, in fact, 7, uh, 7 over 24. 7 over 24 is the fraction that is filled by both tab A and tab uh, B in one hour. Now, uh, what about tab C? Tab C, it empties, tab C empties the tank in 10 hours. It empties the tank in 10 hours. So what fraction is emptied in one hour? We find out that in one hour, one over 10 of the tank is emptied, is emptied, is emptied. Now, uh, when the three taps are left running, this is what will happen. Uh, when all the taps, all, all the taps, when all the taps are open, are open in one hour, in one hour, this is what this is what is going to happen when all the taps are open in one hour. So we are going to subtract. This is the amount that is filled in one hour by both A and B, and this is the fraction that is um, that is emptied in one hour by tab C. So for us to get the remaining fraction, in fact, we have to say it is uh, seven over twenty-four minus one over ten. The fraction. Uh, the fraction of the tank that is emptied. So we have to find the LCM, the LCM of uh, 24 and uh, uh, 10 is in fact 120. So 24 goes to 120 how many times? Five times. Uh, five times seven, it will give us 35 minus 10 goes to 120 how many times? 12 times. So when you take away, you get uh, that, um, um, you get uh, 23 over 23 over 120. 
23 over 120. So 23 over 120 is the fraction that uh, is um, um, uh, the, the fraction of the tank filled in one hour. So this is in one hour, we say in one hour, in one hour, in one hour, 23 over 120 is filled. 23 over 120 of the tank, of the tank is filled. Now, we want to work out the time taken uh, for the tank to be full, for the tank to be full. You realize 23 over 120 is not... Uh, is not the fraction for the whole tank. The fraction for the whole tank is 120 over 120, which is the same as what? One. So we ask ourselves, um, for us to feel, to for us to feel uh 120 over 120 eh, of the tank. 120 over 120 of the tank of the tank. Or we can just say one, the whole tank. For us to fill the whole tank, how much time do we need? So we are going to cross multiply. We are going to cross multiply. So it is going to be 120 over 120 times. Eh, um, times. Now we get the reciprocal of 23 over 120, which is 120 over 23. Or we can as well say it is 120 over 120 and then we divide by times one here times one hour times one hour here then divide by 23 over 120 23 over 120 uh when it comes to the numerator is the same as finding the reciprocal of um, what we have under the denominator uh, this is what we have so 120 and 120 will cancel we get 120 over 23 when you divide this, you'll find out that uh, 